Good morning. We've got a gorgeous sunrise in Springfield right now. Just a few clouds and the sky is orange. 27 degrees, though, a little bit cold on east and northeast winds at 11 miles per hour. Again, uh, mostly clear skies. You'll have lots of sunshine as you had to work in school. But temperatures are colder than yesterday, especially to the south and east, where you started at 50 degrees yesterday. It's 20 degrees colder now, uh, starting out at 28 degrees in West Plains, 27 in Branson, 27 in Springfield, and 25 degrees in Clinton. Winds are out of the north and East at about 5 to 15 miles per hour, enough to put some wind chills in the teens. Feels like 17 at Springfield, 16 in Rolla, and 16 at Lake of the Ozarks. So make sure you, at minimum, have some hats and gloves and scarves on the kiddos this morning, and it's a little bit cold out there. We'll have increasing clouds by dismissal, turning partly to mostly cloudy. Temperatures still chilly at 45 degrees. So we'll find that increasing cloud cover on future cast. Some light snow showers will be possible tonight, especially to the west. And southwest of Springfield. They clear by tomorrow morning and temperatures will be in the 20s. Then by tomorrow afternoon, some slow clearing in the clouds. We'll maybe get sunshine late, but temperatures stay cold in the middle 30s, about 15 degrees below average. For that snow forecast for tonight, Maybe a bad half an inch uh, to the west and southwest of Springfield. The dusting possible. Uh, some slick spots possible on the morning commute, but we shouldn't have any major widespread road impacts there. Really, some light snow on the overnight. Clearing but cold on Thursday. Temperatures at 36 degrees. Starting at 17 Friday morning. Temperatures back in the 40s Friday afternoon with sunshine. A sneak peek at the weekend. Things turn wet by Sunday. Joe Lauren. We have some breaking news that we need to bring you this morning. Three teens are in custody after breaking into a Springfield Elementary School earlier today. Our own Nyjah McDonald is live outside the school with what police have told us so far. Nyjah, what do you know? Well, good morning, Lauren and Joe. I'm here outside of Wilder Elementary, where shortly after 1.30 this morning, three teens broke into the elementary school and stole tablets. Now, Springfield police tell us the students were able to gain access into the school by using a brick and throwing it into the front glass door. Now, while in the school, an employee actually saw the teens on a security camera. Now, Springfield police arrived on scene quickly and arrested two of the teens as they were attempting to escape through the window. And a third suspect ran, but the help with the help of a canine unit, that suspect was arrested shortly after. The tablets were also found with the suspects. Now, just before um, we came to you guys, I was able to see some of the maintenance workers and school employees coming and lifting up the flags and turning on the lights. So it seems that school will be running um, as scheduled this morning. We have reached out to SBS for an official answer on that, but have yet to receive one. Reporting in Springfield, Nigel McDonald, Ozarks First. Something to keep an eye on. Thank you, Nigel. In education coverage now, a change of plans on Springfield Public Schools Proposition S is a big part of Williams Elementary School's scheduled renovation. It'll be demolished now and rebuilt. School officials say renovating the old parts of the building would actually cost almost the same as just building new. Executive Director of Operations Travis Shaw says the original plan was to add square footage to the building to make it a larger space, but once they hired architects and got construction management teams on board, they found it made more sense to go in a, and renovate a smaller portion. Safety, also a big reason why they planned on this. The oldest part of the building sits 36 inches higher than everything else. And so if we were to keep that piece, for example, then we have stairs that we have to deal with. We have ramps that we have to deal with. Another topic the school board is working on is a lack of busing in Springfield. Altogether, only about 30% of students take the bus to school, partly because the district only offers rides to high school students who live at least three and a half miles away from their school and middle and elementary students who live one and a half miles from school. To fix the problem, SPS hired a company to do a transportation study. Leaders are hoping for the best of both worlds to increase busing without increasing costs. One option is to stagger school start times. Superintendent of Operations Carol Embry weighs in this morning with a possible benefit to the proposed changes. We have performed an attendance analysis and we believe that there could be some gains in terms of attendance if we were to reduce those restrictions. Embry says bus driver shortage is also a problem. That's nationwide though, not just in Springfield. Some more local news for you now as the city of Springfield could be expanding. For the first time in nearly 20 years, 
Big changes could be made to the city limits. There are a lot of factors to consider for this, though. Right now, the city is weighing pros and cons for individual property owners and service workers who would be responsible for the new city areas. Mary Lily Smith is the director for planning and development, and she says in, since the 90s, Springfield has taken a back seat to expanding its boundaries, allowing surrounding communities to grow. But now, Springfield leaders are ready to start making plans for the city as long as they can handle it. There would be just those considerations, primarily on the public works, police, and fire side, that we need to look at. Do we have adequate staffing? Are there, um, are we inheriting problems? You know, is it, is it an area where um, maybe there are uh, public improvements that are already needed that haven't been? Smith also says some major concerns for the individual property owners were things like higher sales and use taxes, no open burning or fireworks, and no guarantee of treated roads or snow plowing during bad weather. New this morning, these days social media influencers play a big role in marketing for a variety of brands. 40% of people even say they've purchased a product online as a result of seeing it used by an influencer on social media. Experts say people develop emotional relationships with characters they see. It can make us susceptible to receiving bad information, and the internet makes it easy to find and buy products that are promoted. Dietitian Donna Webb says social media influence also holds true for things like fad diets. We are less likely to believe facts and more likely to believe what our tribe thinks. And so it's sort of this group think. So I think people need to be aware of that. Depending on what medications people are on, depending on what other um, maybe um, diagnosis that they have, they could be really dangerous. Also, half of millennials say they trust influencers on product recommendations. However, Webb says to always seek out the advice of a medical professional before trying a new diet. Around the Ozarks, a Branson man is dead after a car crash in Lawrence County. The Highway Patrol says 72 year old Richard Guthrie was driving on Highway 96 near Halltown when a car crossed the center line and hit him head on. He died at the scene there. Another person in the car, 71 year old Linda Guthrie, survived but was seriously hurt and taken to the hospital. In your news around the region, a decision on Missouri's only abortion clinic licensing is pushed back yet again. The Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services wants to revoke the license for the St. Louis Clinic, citing concerns about four failed abortions. Planned Parenthood officials say conservatives are attempting to use it as an end all to abortions in Missouri. Today, a commission agreed to the state health department's request for an extension to file written briefs. They now have until March 16th. And a quick traffic alert for you now. South Street in Ozark will be closed overnight as crews install drain pipes underneath the street. The road between 15th and 17th will be closed from 9 to 5 tomorrow morning. Drivers will have to use nearby routes, nearby streets rather, as a detour. And we take a look now at what's happening as our trends go for you. Uh, the president has pardoned 11 people. That all happened yesterday, most notably former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich. He was serving a 14-year prison sentence that's been commuted. NYPD Commissioner Bernard Carrick was also pardoned. Mm -hmm. He led NYPD during the 9-11 attacks, but then served three years in federal prison after pleading guilty to false tax returns and lying to White House officials. Another big trend on uh, Twitter. It's happening. All these movies are trending right now. I want to be the person who asks the question that goes viral. People are asking what movie creeped you out as a kid. Do you guys have anything? Oh, I yes. have plenty. Big time I'm answers. I'm right scared now. easily, though. Um, I should say that. The Wizard of Oz freaked me out. So did Edward Scissorhands, and to this day, I still do not like Johnny Depp. <laughs> it was all the Disney movies for me. All of them are yeah. a little bit scary. Mulan. Yeah. But yeah, Wizard of Oz with the flying monkeys, those yes. scared me. Hated those. Lion King, yeah. parent falling off a cliff, you know, you name it. Go on Twitter, <laughs> weigh in, tell us. Yeah, Night of the Living Dead got me. I thought it was so cool getting to watch a scary movie with my cousins and uncle. And, nope, <laughs> and then you didn't sleep for a week. Not good. <laughs> anyway, interesting there. Uh, but we do need one last check of our forecast, too. Cold today. Increasing clouds today, 45 degrees by dismissal. Uh, light snow possible tonight, and then cold tomorrow. Thanks for starting off your day with us. We'll take that beautiful sunrise on a hump day. We'll see you back here at midday.